Hey peeps, I'm back! Um, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be walking you through or showing you all of my vintage pattern collection. Um, I've been loving watching other people's um, pattern collection videos and I would show you all of mine in one go but we could be here for hours so I've decided to split it up and the first one's going to be vintage, then we'll do indie, then we'll do the big four and then we're going to do my PDFs um, because I have a lot of PDFs which technically will class as indie as well but I have a lot of indie patterns too so so I'm separating those up but anyway less waffling more showing um, I have made actually more of these than I expected to um, when I started started collecting patterns probably about 10 years ago now um, having seen some on eBay and just going oh they're pretty and going for the line art um, having no expectations of being able to um, actually sew these up because there are a variety of sizes and majority of them are way too small for my bust so um, yeah full bust adjustments will be will be happening because yeah I um, there are a lot of these that would be awesome dresses so let me show you um, some of them are in plastic wallets like this um, and that's generally because they've I've used the pattern pieces and um, I just can't get them to squish back into the pattern envelope um, so this is the Butterick 7201 I'm going to um, put photos close-up photos of the line art of all of these up here for you so that I'm going to try and focus and stuff like that um, this one I have made um, I used this bodice um, as the bodice for the very first jumpsuit I made in the navy and white kind of abstract check fabric and I love it and I want to make more actually I did the short sleeve version um, but there is a long sleeve version as well um yes I like that and it also has a circle skirt so um, if I do when I do the bodice again I might put it on uh, top of a circle skirt so there's that one I'm not going to go into this much detail with every single pattern if I did we could be here all day but I will for the ones that I've actually made up I think that makes sense doesn't it okay so next up we've got uh, Butterick 5979 which is this one um haven't made this one yet really like it it's quite similar style to the last one I showed you but with like a scoop neckline instead of the square neckline um and I also kind of like the collar detail that it's got so yeah I have to do that one too so next up we've got a Vogue pattern and it is the S4544 which is this one and I was looking at um, the vintage Vogue patterns this morning and I believe this is a recreation of one of those so if it is I will put that um, pattern up there for you um, I love this um, it's a big full skirt it's a v-neck you know what's not to love that's really pretty cool actually and might work really well for a dress that I need to make for a customer for her wedding evening dress so hmm, good inspiration there this is pretty useful already so next up is a Butterick pattern and it is um, 7461 I believe the uh, thing is marked there I have made this um, I did a full bust um, full bust adjustment on this one and I actually added a waist tie to it um, but I made it in the uh, mermaidy Madison print silk uh, cotton that I got from Spoonflower and I've lined it in cotton lawn and it uh, no not in cotton lawn in um, brushed cotton so it is really toasty warm and it's lovely and it has pockets and um, yeah just basically generally awesome I don't wear it very often because I'm so because it's so long I'm really worried that I'm gonna like get it dirty and tread on it and stuff like that so yeah I need to break that out more often but I have made this one and I do like this one a lot so next up I've got the oh I think it's yes it's simplicity and it's a 1578 and it's actually a really large size it's a size 20 well when I say a really large size it's a really large vintage size so size 20 for a bust 38 so that gives you kind of an indication of what we were looking at um, as you can see this one has um, come a little bit battered it's a really pretty sundress with um, a really cute little jacket that goes over the top and one of the things I love is that it comes with um, the embroidery embroidery detail that they uh, want you to do um, like like this so you can transfer over to your pattern which I think is awesome so yeah I really like that one I like the tie details on this hmm I'd have to size it down but I could make that so most of these patterns are going to be from the 50s and early 60s there's a few 40s ones in there but as you know that's the kind of silhouette that I like very fitted bodices and full skirts so um, it's going to be variations on a theme going the whole way through 
um, but I can't imagine that's much of a surprise. <laughs> So next up we've got another Simplicity and it's 2001 and it's like a faux shirt dress and um, this is how this one arrived and it's actually got there's some black what looks like crepe um, cut out and still pinned to the pieces back there and um, yeah I just I think that's so awesome. I absolutely love the bodice on this one the collar is really cool because it's kind of like very wide neck collar so yeah um, that one's awesome. It's a size 14 and a half, so it's a bust 35, so it's nearly fitting me already, so um, wouldn't need too much alterations for that one. That's pretty cool. Those are the um, vintage patterns that the envelopes are so damaged that I have stored them in extra plastic wallets. But for the rest of my vintage patterns, they are stored in uh, this box, which I got from WHS. And um, I have a few. Right, so yeah, I have um, an enormous box of um, vintage patterns and they were all squished into my CD tower but then the big four kind of take, took over and as I know that I have to do a lot of work these, to these to use them, I decided to store them in a box um, and that way I know where they all are as well. So the very first one I have here is the McCall's uh, 4428, it's a size 12 with a 32 bust. Um, my mum bought me this um, for my birthday last year uh, from an Etsy seller and I just love that collar. That is so cute. Um, definitely think you could do that with um, some of the dresses, modern dresses um, now, fairly easily. Just add that collar onto them. But yeah, I really love the line art in this one. Um, she just looks awesome and that hat and uh, jewellery very cool um but also i just i love the fabric as well the choices the green and white check with the white collar can get on board with that i like that so uh yeah definitely want to make this one um even if i don't make this vintage pattern because there needs too much alterations to it i love the idea of adding that collar to um i've got a vogue pattern that that would work on it's got a square neck mm, yes like that uh, so next up we have the Advanced 8345, it's a size 14, um, it is a really pretty dress, I like the cummerbund detail, um, I like the fact that you can have it without that as well as you can see in version 3, um, I also like that you can make it look like a top and skirt, although I don't know how much wear I'd get out of that as opposed to an actual dress all in the same print, but yeah, really like that. Uh, now when I bought these, I bought a job lot on eBay um, which had patterns from the late 40s through to the mid to late 60s in them. Um, now I gave away the um, shift dress patterns because I'm never going to wear shift dresses. I'm just not that kind of girl. It's not. It, it's never going to suit me so there's no point. So I gave them away. Uh, they're very cute patterns but I gave them away to somebody that actually would make use of them. Um, so the majority as you can see from this so far um, are all patterns with really big skirts but um, the ones that aren't generally came in uh, this job lot including this advanced 9545 which is a size 14 and um, I love this dress but I just find pencil skirts are such a pain in the ass to fit because of my ass um, yeah the difference in, in size between my waist and my bum is huge and I, yeah I just find it uh, annoying um, and I find them uncomfortable to wear so yeah, um, I love how happy uh, the middle lady is in this pattern though. She is very excited about what she's wearing. Although I think version two with the v-neck is my favorite. But yeah, she's so excited. So next up is another advanced and it's 8064. It's size 11. Um, size 11, that's really bizarre. Uh, it's a skirt and shirt combo and the skirt has suspenders on it and it is awesome. Um, size 11 is uh, a junior size and it's for a 24 and a half inch waist so <laughs> it's tiny um, I used to have a 24 inch waist I do not now um, but yeah I really like that I think it's really cute and I think would actually fit in my style quite well it has pockets as well which is awesome um, so I might try and alter that and make that uh, next up we have Simplicity 4255 it's a size 12 with a bust 30 and um, loads of people have made this one I think they've re-released this as a, um, 
as a like a, a, a reproduction pattern. Um, most people that have made it have said that the shirt collar is huge and it does look huge but it is very cute. I love wrap shirts and I, I just love that kind of whole look. Again probably wouldn't wear it myself because of the uh, the hip to waist ratio getting trousers like that to fit and look good. Uh, not convinced but yeah very cute. Oh, so I have um, I have three definite favourites of patterns. Um, I've shown you the, the, the uh, very first one that my mum bought me for my birthday last year. Last year, yes it was last year. Um, I bought this one myself, it's Simplicity 1879 with, uh, it's a size 12 with a bust of 32. I love that, I love that so much. Um, I love the blue version, the bows on that, I think they're very cute and I just like the buttons on version two, the or uh, version one, the orange one. Um, Again, they're both of them, both of them are clearly listening to like their iPods or something, and really, oh, they're sharing, yeah, because they've they've got a, a thing in each ear, so they're they're sharing some music there, um, and clearly enjoying that. But really like this one. Need to get over my fear and actually start making some of these. Uh, next up, we have Simplicity. Uh, 1159, it's a size 11, which is a bust of 29 inches. Wow. <laughs> um, I love this. Uh, of course I do. It's a fitted bodice with a big skirt. I like the V at the front and the back, the grey on sleeves. Um, I love uh, View 2, version 2, the, the, the fabric on that. Good use of a border print there. Um, and I like the rickrack detail on View 1. Um, very cute, like that. So next up we've got uh, Simplicity 4343, it's a junior size 11, so it's a bust 31 and a half inches. Um, I really like this, it's kind of like a faux walkaway dress, which is quite interesting because I know the walkaway dress is a pain to fit. Um, and this one looks like it, but it has a zip in the back and it has um, a faux pleat under the front skirt, um, which you could have real fun with like different putting different um, um, pa uh, fabric underneath that. I used to, the princess dresses I used to design always had like the overskirt and then different fabric underneath when I was a kid. Um, and you could still use the bias binding on these ones or rickrack trim as number one has. Nice. Um, yeah, I, I really like this. I think this is, um, a, would be a really cool, uh, way of making what looks like the walkaway dress but without the, uh, problems of like the skirt the weight of the back skirt pulling the dress in funny ways and things like that so hmm, like that one. Uh, next up is another Simplicity and it is 2971 it's a size 12 which is a 32 bust okay um, it is a really cute um, kind of wrapped over collar with a collar dress I love I really do like version one that yellow dress actually I think that looks really nice but I don't have that figure so like I can think it looks nice but I, I mean does anyone actually have that figure but yeah um I love the collar I think it's awesome so yeah very tempted to give that a go I mean I want to make all of these but there aren't 48 hours in the day and I like sleep and I have to work for a living so um yeah Oh, next up we have Simplicity 4759. This is a size 16, which is a 34 bust. Um, it's a jumper dress with a little jacket, and oh my god, that's cute. I really like the um, top stitching detail over the princess seams as well. That's cute. Um, and they've featured that down the back as well, as you can see on the red version on version 2. Um, I love the idea of jumper dresses. I think they're really cool. Um... And this isn't actually too far away from my size range. Hmm, what was it, size 16? Size 16. Uh, 28 waist. I could do this. I could alter this and make this. Hmm, I like this. Ah, right, so the next one is McCall's 7286. And when my mum ordered me the two dresses, uh, two patterns that she did for my birthday last year, um, they very kindly sent me this 1940s um, pattern as well. Um, it's very simple. I like the chevron details. I like, I, mm, yeah, that's cute. And simple, simple but cute. Um, I couldn't tell you what size it is because that's disappeared in uh, its lifetime. So yeah, but I like that. And um, yes, extra with a smile. So next up we have McCall's 4266. It's a size 12 with a 32 inch bust. I think they've done a re-release of this. I could be wrong, but 
having stalked the Simply So or no, Sim, uh, So Direct website this morning at Patterns because I'm always looking at patterns. Um, I remember seeing something similar to this. It's a really cute sort of shirt, well, faux shirt dress. Um, I love the little um, cuffs on the sleeves and I like the detail on the bodice. That's unusual, the square rather than a princess seam. So that's really cute. Um, yeah, 32 inch bust, 25 inch waist and 34 inch hips. I don't think I've ever had 34 inch hips, ever. Ah, now this, this is my third most favorite pattern or the top three of my uh, favorite patterns. It's the Simplicity 4704. It's a size 14 with a 32 bust. And this was a birthday present from my mum from last year. And it is this one. Uh, it's the inspiration behind the Trashy Diva honey dresses. And um, I absolutely love it. Um, La Carla have done a, a version of this recently uh, which I have tried and I don't like the bust detailing that they've done so that one was a fail for me um, yeah so I know this one's not going to fit me um, and I knew it wouldn't when I ordered it but I wanted the pattern because I wanted to see what the pattern pieces looked like because I'd started trying to draft um, something similar myself from one of my honey dresses without having to take my honey dress apart um, and when this arrived it was really nice to see that I was going along the right lines and the pattern pieces looked remotely similar to what I'd kind of like randomly tried to trace off of my honey dress so yeah um I am in the process of making a pattern for myself that has this bodice on it because I love it and my honey dresses I have I think I have about 14 or 15 honey dresses and um they are too short in the torso for me I know they are but I love them so much I kind of just wear them anyway um so the fact that I could potentially make my own is awesome we're about halfway through um so next up we have the McCall's 9698 it's a size 12 with a 30 inch bust I love how the measurements are like all over the place like I'm sure sure like another McCall's but anyway never mind I'm rambling again anyway this is a really cute dress I like this a lot um again big skirt cinched in waist um just pretty I like the bow does it come with pattern piece for the bow oh it does um yeah I really like that I like the contrast details on view B the skirt just looks awesome um 30 inch bust yeah that's not gonna work but very very cute might have to attempt something like that. Uh, we have another um, slim fit dress. This is uh, McCall's 7511. It's a size 14 with a 34 inch bust. Um, really cute. I like the little bow detail on that. Um, not overly clean on the jacket. I think I like it in the lace better than I like it in the solid pink fabric um, but um, this lady on the end with the awesome hair has the best option out of all of them yeah that looks like a brocade to me I like that one so next we have another McCall's it is 7583 it's a size 14 with a 32 bust it is a very 40s inspired dress um, yeah so there was this um, pattern swap going around and it was this massive box of patterns and this lady had started it and put in a whole bunch of patterns that she bought but she didn't like anymore and basically you could um, you put it up on your vlog or your blog or Instagram and then your subscribers could um, put in their names to get the receive it next uh, you could take a couple of patterns out and then you'd put a couple of patterns that you um, didn't like or weren't going to use anymore back in um, so I remember I took this one because it's kind of I liked the skirt because it wasn't a standard um, straight up and down skirt it's, it's a gourd skirt so I thought that was really nice and I really like the scallop details along the neck I just thought it was really pretty um, so yeah that was I got that's where I got that one from I think I also picked out like a very uh, 90s jacket pattern that I will show you in my uh, big four ones but yeah I really like that and um, not gonna fit me but I could do something similar so hmm uh, next we have McCall's 3686 it's a size 12 with a 30 inch bust again with the collar oh my gosh I love this it is amazing um, I mean again the collar is ridiculously large but 
it's such a cute dress like such a cute dress mmm need to make something like that I mean I need to make all of these I do I know I do but again I, I think I've said this before I feel like I'm repeating myself but I don't know if it recorded so um, I need 48 hours in a day and also I like sleep so although I want to make all of these things I definitely don't have time ah now this one um, I got this one from Etsy it's a style print it is 1023 it's got a waist of 27 so that's actually makeable for me and um, the the seller it's a it's a pleated skirt um, with a come separate cummerbund pattern and the seller on Etsy had um, traced off the cummerbund pattern and she told me this and she was like so that you know that's why that one's unfolded but this is completely as is from the manufacturer um, and I yeah it's it's an awesome awesome skirt pattern so will be make, will I will make this one I haven't taken part in um, stitching Odyssey's uh, vintage pledge. Um, because time um, but that could be what I do so yes and I've got till the end of the year for that uh, right next up we have Butterick 7485 it's got a 29 inch bust it's a size 11 it's another kind of like um, over shirt dress oh yeah it does come with the blouse pattern as well um, so full scum Full skirted jumper with stitched pie cut neckline no waist seam decorative stitching over hip and back zipper uh, set making blouse with pert stand up collar full below elbow sleeves mm, there you go um, both of those are really cute I do like I like the de uh, somebody's drawn on this one but I like the details on the black one which has got the details over the hip so there's no waist um, definition but yeah that is really cute um, it's also really tiny 23 and a half inch waist wow um 32 inch hips bloody hell i think that's what my thighs measure um one thigh uh, <laughs> but yeah that's a really really cute pattern i like that a lot i do like that a lot but i mean lots of these there's definitely kind of like inspiration and you can use modern patterns to kind of tweak so yeah we have a butterick uh, 7654 I feel like this has been reissued I recognize this neckline um, I love view A in the blue and um, the polka dots are also awesome it's quick and easy apparently uh, this is a size th uh, 12 which has got a 30 inch bust um, very cute very cute indeed Oh, next up we have Butterick 6875. It's a size 16 with a 34 inch bust. Um, a new staging for your prettiest casual scoop neckline wears a necklace of darts. Oh gosh, they're all darts. That's God, blimey. You usually complain about having to sew like eight darts on a pattern, but that's a lot. Uh, full skirt sweeps around. <laughs> full skirt sweeps a round of applause dress has the merest hint of a sleeve fabrics uh, ideas soft and supple or stiff and rustling I love these descriptions why am I not reading these out um, that is a lot of darts um, the black one's quite cute she's like you know made a see through dress and then put like another dress underneath it but yeah that's that's pretty cool like that okay so we've now got a butterick 6163 it's a size 11 with a 29 inch bust it's a Susie Stevens original um, the girl in view a is very pleased with what she's wearing and her one glove well, she's wearing one glove and holding the other one um, I like I like the little uh, shoulder details there what does this one say um, you'll find this one-piece dress equally at home in the Sun or on the dance floor it's wide whirling skirt with pleated fullness in back is perfect foil for the strapless bodice add separate cuff like sleeves uh, be dress alone <laughs> right so next up we have a uh, butterick 9563 it is a size 16 with a bust of 36 which I have actually tried to make this um, the waist on this is 28 inches so I had to take that in by a couple of inches which I did off the side seams in, in and, and increasing the size of the darts um, which is probably not the right way of doing it and I love the neckline and I mean I, I got to the point I'd, I'd lined it I'd finished the facing with bias binding it was looking beautiful but it just gaped horribly um, and I tried I tried taking wedges out and darts out and all sorts of stuff and I think I made three of these bodices before I gave up and just went I don't have the skills to do this yet I will come back um, this is probably about th th 
three, four years ago now that I did this. Um, I know there is somebody out there who's made this jacket and it is super, super cute. So that is definitely something that I would like to make as well. Um, I would definitely be coming back to this dress because it is lovely. Um, and I will, I will not let it defeat me. I will make this. Um, next up we have, um, oh, it's a good Butterick one. So it's a Butterick 7126. It's a size 11 with a 29 inch bust. And it says, uh, the figure to dazzle young princess cuts a beautiful shape with molded empire midriff cut in one below elbow sleeves and a sweeping skirt accented by tiny wing collar buttons on sleeves. A contrast, uh, a, a view a contrast on trim on collar on sleeves. Um, that's cute. That's very cute. Um, I like, I like the button upness. I would probably not wear it that buttoned up. Um, Ginger Miss with the glasses on is enjoying herself there because um, uh, the one in pink is telling her secrets. Um, yeah, I really like that one. Um, it's tiny though, so the idea of trying to make that one. Uh, let's have a look see what waist size it goes for if they have those on here. 24 and a half inches, yeah. Uh, right, so this is another one that came in the job lot. Um, it is Butterick 3295, size 14, bust 34. Um, boring description on the back, so I won't read you that. I like all the ruffles. I wouldn't wear the ruffles, but I do like the ruffles. And um, if you see, the dark haired lady is enjoying her ruffles. Um, I like that it. it's got um, darts up from the waist. I think they're called French darts, I think. Don't quote me on that, but yeah, I like that. Uh, now, this is a Vogue 9187. It is a size 12, so it's a 32 inch bust and a size 34 inch hips. Who are they kidding? Um, and why do you need a hip measurement for that? If your hips don't fit in that, you have a problem. Um, I know I know they've um, released this one again as a re reproduction. Uh, pattern it's awesome this comes with the cummerband pieces as well which I love um, I do like VB with the ties but again I don't like wearing um, strapless bras so I think view A would be much more me I, I like the kind of pleaty thing that's going on over there so hmm, like that one uh, next we've got some shirt patterns this is a Marion Martin sew chart shirt it is T9363 three it's a size 12 oh and this one um this one has still got the i mean obviously it's still got the envelope that it came in but like the actual envelope that it came in and went to um its original purchaser um it doesn't have a date on it unfortunately but the u.s postage permit is one cent that's how much it costs to send from new york to uh hawthorne avenue ruth menifree um, yeah, that's that's awesome. And this came from um, Kinky Clothiers on eBay. That's with a K. I don't know if she's still going. If she is, I'm going to link her um, stuff down below. Um, but yeah, I, I, I remember I purchased her um, eBay ID is Jimmy Tweets, and that's her cat's name apparently, according to this little slip here. Um, so I remember purchasing quite a lot from her. This is probably about 10, 10 odd years ago, but I really like these um, blouses. Very cute. Um, next we have a New York pattern and it is 1534, size 12. Um, it's another shirt pattern. Uh, this one feels like, you know, um, how patterns arrive from the manufacturers and they're all beautiful and, and like this and, and you can, you know, the tissue paper is all wonderfully folded and stuff and that never happens again once you've opened it out feels like nobody's ever opened this one up um i really like this blouse i mean of course i do it is kind of fitted in at the waist and it would work really well with the kind of clothing that i like to wear i like the little tie collar and i like the big kind of collar as well that's very cute what size is this 12 12 a 30 inch bust I need an 18 apparently um yeah oh so yeah that's exactly what I mean somebody's had this out of the envelope um this is another New York pattern it is 1586 it is attractive skirt and blouse um they're not wrong it's very nice I like it uh it looks like the blouse, blouse buttons up at the back which I always like but I always think how do you do that by yourself I mean I have a button up blouse uh, ready to wear one and I can't get in and out of it by myself 
which is why I don't wear it very often because I'm single. But um, yeah, this is cute. This is cute. This is also size 32. I could alter this to fit. I could probably get the skirt to fit. Ah, oh, yeah, these ones, um, they have the size for the bust and the hip. They have no waist measurements on them. How is that helpful? How? Uh, next up we have another New York pattern, it is 1568, it is a size 14 with a 32 inch bust, again no waist measurements but apparently the hip is 35. <laughs> um, again you don't really need to worry about the hips with these ones but still I think that's funny. Um, size 14. Uh, I remember very seriously contemplating making this one. Um, it's another one that's never been out of its envelope, I don't think. Um, I love it. I was going to make it um, out of a uh, white cotton with bright pink florals over it, and I ended up making the grey stress out of that. Um, yeah, so I, I think I got terrified by the fact of trying to alter it to fit my bust, um, but I really like that one. Ah, now, um, this is a woman pattern, that's what it says. Uh, it is W329, bus size 34. Um, I really like this. Oh, it says, attractive sign with softly draped bodice falling into unpressed pleated skirt can be worn on many occasions. Hmm. Um, this actually, because of the way that the bust is done, that would be easy to add some extra room. And with the 34 inch bust, it's got a 26 inch waist, the 37 inch hips, which is ridiculous, but this would fit me. Um, and I really like it. I really like it. I like that there's definition at the waist that just, just I could get away with that because most drop waists look awful on me, but I could get away with that because it's not a very large one. I like the pleated skirt. I like all the details here. I like the collar going up there. I do actually like the sleeves as well. It could be quite fun to try. Nine pieces. Might give that a go. Um, next up we have a Blackmore pattern which is 8958. It's a 32 inch bust and again this was from um, Kinky Clothiers, Jimmy Tweets on eBay. Um, it's very similar to a lot of the patterns that I've showed you. It's got a really big skirt, it has a defined waist, it has kind of a v-neck. Um, it's very cute. The lady with looking over her shoulder has also got pretty awesome hair. Um, oh, this is another one that probably came from the um, job lot that I got on eBay. It is... I don't even know which company this is by. Let's get this out and have a look. It's an easy sew, ready to use patorama pattern. There you go, it's 8251. It is a um, pencil skirted dress with a v neck, um, a, not a v neck, a, a, a v detail at the waist. Um, it's one of those ones that has got nothing printed on the tissue paper at all. Um, and it's got like a little KP Bolero kind of. Um, boller, bolleroy doodad that is a technical term um, this one has the envelope in it as well and it went from New York and it went to Mrs Mabel G Fields in Shelbyville in Indiana I think oh and they paid two and a half cents for this one so this is a little bit later but um, that's so cool I love that I love that like I don't I don't think she ever used it looking at the pattern pieces um, but I do love the fact that you get like this little bit of history with these as well. So um, it's a cute dress. I think I'd make them bolero though. That's nice. Hmm. And I wouldn't have to worry too much about fitting my boobs. Uh, two left. Oh, so this is a. Oh, this is another one. Um, with the envelope, it is not really my style, so it's definitely come in the um, pattern bundle that I got. Um, it's 4874, size 12 and a half. Who is you? Who are you by, though? Who are you by? Um, I don't know, it doesn't tell me. 
practical dressmaking hints for printed pattern. Pre-cutting and sewing instructions for printed pattern. See other side. Um, okay, so yeah, no details as to who is the actual pattern designer. Does it have it on the envelope? For just patent department, New York. Um, but yeah, patent department, okay. Um, this one, oh wow, so this is Earth, New York, September 28th, 1964. Mrs. Leo R. Vansell, Vandell, um, Indiana as well. Indiana was very fashionable. Um, it's kind of like this uh, sort of coat dress. Um, it's cute, it's not me, I would never wear this, um, but I just love this that's come for it. They've um, paid 10 cents for postage, um, which is awesome. So yeah, um, I was thinking actually, you know I was mentioning earlier that uh, there was a, a, a box of patterns that was floating around uh, sort of the blogosphere and I did try to keep track of it but I lost it after a while. I was thinking something like that could be quite fun. Um, after I've done all of these um, all of these videos I think I might put in like a whole bunch like this one because I love it and I love the history of it but I'm never gonna make this and somebody else might and somebody else might love it and um, so I was thinking maybe I'd start one of those kind of like pattern boxes that floats around and see how that goes let me know what you think but cute and then finally, um, you know how much I like cosplay and costumes and stuff like that. Apparently, I bought a basic costume pattern and it's um, this one. And again, it's from Jimmy. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's from Jimmy Tweets. Um, oh, it's a size 8 for a 26 inch. It's a girl's pattern, but I just, I love it. I love it. I love the trousers. That's I think that that and the cheerleading outfit is what I was just like drawn to. Um, it's awesome. It's so tiny, but it is awesome. And I love that they were making costumes back then as well. That's so cool. So yeah, that is my entire vintage pattern collection. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this very long and sometimes rambly video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and I will see you again very soon. Bye.